Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On today's episode of Reading Through the Bible, we are going to be looking at 2 Thessalonians chapter 3. Living the Light of Christ's Return Request for Prayer as for other matters, brothers and sisters, pray for us that the message of the Lord may spread rapidly and be honored, just as it was with you, and pray that we may be delivered from wicked and evil people. For not, ev for not everyone has faith, but the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. We have confidence in the Lord that you were to do well and will continue to do things we command. May the Lord direct your hearts into God's love and Christ's perseverance. Um, so this is just um, a request for prayer for God to be with the people during this time, the Christians during this time, to be with them and to guard their hearts and lead their path. Um, so that is what this first part of this chapter is talking about. Verse number six. Warning against idleness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we command you, brother and sisters, to keep away from every believer who is idle and disruptive and does not live according to the teaching you received from us. For, for you yourselves know you ought to follow our example. We were not idle when we were with you, nor did we eat anyone's food without paying for it. On the contrary, we worked night and day, laboring and toiling, so that we would not be a burden to any of you. We did this not because we do not have the right to such help, but in order to offer ourselves as a model for you to imitate. For even when we were with you, we gave you this rule. The one who is unwilling to work shall not eat. We hear that some among you are idle and disruptive, they are not busy, they are busy bodies. Such people we command and urge in the Lord Jesus Christ to settle down and earn the food they eat. And as for you, brothers and sisters, never tire of doing what is good. Take special note of anyone who does not obey these instructions in this letter. Do not associate with them in order that they may feel ashamed. Yet do not regard them as an enemy, but warn them as you would a fellow believer. Final greetings. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace all the time in every way. The Lord will be with all of you. I, Paul, write this greeting in my own hand, which is the distinguished mark in all the letters. This is how I write. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. So this section um, is talking about people doing their part. So even as Christians, they need to be working or do some type of work to get what they receive. Um, so basically taking handouts and just begging people for stuff instead of working for it, that is what Paul is saying is wrong here. So just like us today, we need to have some type of job or career or some kind of profession in order to pay for our homes and what we um, what we eat. So we need to do this. And whatever God blesses us with, that is what we receive. So we can't just be lazy and not do anything for work or, or for stuff. We need to be working and be diligent in this. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible.